Uh, let's say hi to uh, Ian uh, Halperin. Uh, Ian? Uh-oh. Yes. yes, gentlemen. Who better to talk about than hockey than Ian, His Highness Halperin, the man who played against Mario Lemieux when he grew up, the man <laughs> from Canada. And I'll tell you one thing. Right now, Slovakia might be going all the way. They have a goaltender who plays for the Montreal Canadiens named Halleck in goal. He's the newest... He's, he's like Vladislav Tratiak. He looks like Dominic Hasek. You guys, I'm telling you right now, U.S. is going down to Finland. Oh, and I'm going to be very happy because Finland has the hottest women in the tournament in the stands. Just stop. And what, what, what do you mean? USA. Yeah, what do you know about sports that I don't? Listen, I just know USA knows how to bring it. Yeah, we already beat yeah. you at your own fucking game, yes. Ian. We get, we and and stop being such a pussy. Don't you want... You don't want your... Don't, why you Why would you want the easy game for the gold? Why wouldn't you want ah, exactly. fucking US of USA a to show the world that it was a fluke the first time around? What's wrong with you? Who is going to make you guys look like fools. Saku Koivu played for the Montreal Canadiens. He's the leader of Finland. He has heart and soul unlike the uh, USA. Unlike the USA? I'm, I'm telling you right now... Finland is going to destroy them, and Slovakia, watch out. Yeah. Slovakia? Yeah, I, I against Lemieux. Google that one. I Google that. Mario Lemieux when you... I grew up. He once beat us 13-1. to 1. He scored, scored all 13 goals against us. How did he you? Was... Oh, oh, so you didn't do very well, did well, you? Well, His Highness scored the one goal for our team. Oh, you but, did. You know, if I wouldn't be doing your radio show, I might, st I might be playing in that tournament today. Oh, right, exactly. <laughs> Anthony, um, breaking news. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, breaking, he's got breaking news. news. Hold on there, uh, Ian. Yes, Howard Stern just announced that he invented the bald pussy, so we can't uh, oh, take God. much credit for that one either. Eesh. Well, thank God then. Yeah, we we praise uh, him for, for inventing that. Thank you. Uh, hairy pussy's like trying to take the prize out of a full box of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> and God no, damn, is that good? And no credit because the the guy fucking Facebooked that from his phone. Put a little name on uh, these things so you get a little credit. Ian, fuck you, fuck your fucking country, and fuck. Uh, <laughs> come on, and you fuck love Canadian me, hockey. You know, I wrote a poem for Anthony. All uh, right, let's hear yeah. it. You want to hear it? I'm um, sure. What's your obsession with Anthony, by the way? It's getting a little uh, weird. I Anthony's dynamite. I love the guy. All right, it's a little but, weird. You know, I, I wrote a poem for him. Uh, All right. See. It's Anthony, his love for his highness like honey. No Cleopatra, ugly as a mud fence, toilet sounds like a foghorn. His love for his highness like a money, so pungent. His jealousy like an onion. Face and feet ugly as Cuella de Vil. His personality and head bald as a bandicoot. Loose ass needs to do some squats and lunges. I still love Anthony. His love for his highness like honey. Insecure, defensive, Viagra vibe. Shaken baby syndrome way back when. Balls look like butternut squash soup. Shakespeare sonnets. No Cleopatra. Rattled by the rush. Anthony, his love for his highness like honey. How's that, guys? That sounds like you wrote that for someone else. <laughs> yeah, because it really doesn't fit me. All of the uh, oh, things you were it's saying. Oh come on! like a glove, dude. It no, was, you know. How do you? What do you think? I you need? were in that courtroom. You couldn't have worn it. You know what? Hold on. You think I need? You think I need Viagra? Well, I, hey, dude. I, you know, it, it seems like you've been in a rut, dude. It's a been, rut? There's, there's so much testosterone <laughs> coming out of your nostrils, even. You know, it seems like you need a weekend in Canada, dude, just to be shaken up. You ain't getting it in the U.S. What the hell is wrong with you? That was, first of all, that was so gay. That was so fucking gay. You completely sounded like you want my fucking cock, is what that poem was all about. Oh, I'm supposed to, Is that your fantasy that I'm worshipping you? Is that your fucking fantasy, you Canuck? Hunt that I worship, oh, that I fucking it. worship you. On, you know what I'll do? Just to show you I don't need Viagra, I'll bukkake your big stupid dice sunglasses, you fuck. Oh, you fucking, that, you jealousy, whatever jealous, jealous, jealous of what? Jealous of what? Someone that comes from a second rate fucking country that we defend so you can fucking sit there uh, and, and have your uh, uh, premier, prime minister, president, whatever it is, come here for health care. Okay. You live in a shithole. You're when full of crap. You Canada, uh, why don't you go try to make another dime off of Jackson's rotting body, you lying sack of cock? Oh, go ahead. Right. You know go ahead. Go to the Michael Jackson right. ATM. Try to pull some money out of his rotting fucking asshole. Go ahead. You know, fucking full of shit. Because I know everything. Uh, Google it. Google it. 
shut <laughs> up. <laughs> play the saxophone with your bunghole, you homo. I'll play the Go fuck yourself. Hand, Go fuck your mother. When are we going to hear this saxophone of yours? I'm yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, yeah, we've been hearing that for a month. Yeah. No, when I'm back You're all in talk. New York, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm bringing a chick to give Anthony a lap dance because he needs it badly. Man, the guy's frustrated. Frustrated? You know, he's a jealous rich <laughs> You know man. something? I, I duh, 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 you're You're absolutely talking about yourself. I I know Dude, that you probably you have number one. I'm number one number you one probably time. have quite a lot of trouble uh, attracting the attention of females. I have to say you probably have quite a bit of trouble. Right now, your rap sucks. Radio and you're just jealous. Your your rap really sucks. I, I'm sure any woman that would sit across from you would know in three seconds you're full of shit. Full of yourself. Uh, you know, All you're doing is talking. The I'm pomposity like that pours out of your gullet is such crap. Is such crap. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm, dude, you ain't getting it, dude. You're jealous because His Highness is getting it. His uh, Highness. Who's His Highness? highness. You're, you're trying to. Are you trying to when give yourself a fucking name? Someone called you sexy. Are you trying to what? When was the last time anyone called you sexy? I, I, I've been called that, believe me. I don't have to, I don't have to fucking prove, time? I don't, you think I gotta prove myself to you? To Absolutely. the likes of fucking you? Absolutely. When was the last time you were called anything but a lying sack of shit asshole, pompous, self-centered cunt? Uh, 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 riddle me that, asswipe. Riddle me that. When was the last time someone called you Dice, by the way? How many times a day are you called a Dice? Hey, Dice, where you been, Dice? Don't insult Dice. You, you fucking look like a, 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 you look like a homo Dice. You look like Dice right after, if Dice sucked cock, it would be Ian Halperin. That's what you look like. Look, Go look, fucking open Michael Jackson's casket and see if a dime is in his pocket. Look, you fucking, mean, you fucking grave robber. Go ahead, grave robber. Go ahead, grave robber. Snap you know, off his fucking rotting nose and sell it. Write know, a story you know, about it. Write an exclusive about his fucking nose you that you snap it. off. Without Shut it. No truth Shut to up. Or you're jealous, dude. You lie about you know, everything. Put your oh, yeah. Your Brad Pitt and Angelina dude. Jolie are still together. <laughs> They're still together. Yeah, oh, if like they break up in 10 years, you'll be still. I told you. Google it. Google it. I said it 10 years ago. Shut up. You oh, fucking, there's Anthony. not, you got nothing. Look, look, I wanna you have you. nothing. I want, I want nothing. So Tiger Woods, so Tiger Woods. And we're gonna see what was this Tiger so Woods promise? I, I don't know. What, what was your Tiger Woods promise, Ian, promise. That, that hasn't come true? It, when he tells a statement, he's going to fucking uh, bring out one of his whores and say he's uh, leaving with her. No, I, what I, I, is it? What's, it was, like, what's your latest line of shit? Yeah, you know something, Anthony? Yes, sir. I haven't seen you win many awards for your journalistic endeavors. What did, what award do you have? <laughs> what fucking awards, award do you have? I have an air award. <laughs> I have a fucking air award for excellence in broadcasting. <laughs> I have I have awards that I have won for my production skills. Radio and records. Radio and was records a was a big what one. Yeah. How about I have broadcasting awards that yeah. were given to me by Charles Corralt, motherfucker? Oh, yeah, Charles Corralt. Big deal, dude. Big you know, fucking deal. Is, what yeah. award do you have? The what fucking award? Canadian bullshit award? Is that the one you have? Yeah. The the Canuck can't fucking tell the truth if his balls were in a vice <laughs> award? Seen, dude, I haven't seen you write many number one bestsellers. Yeah, okay. and, and what have you written? Yeah, well, you know, my Michael Jackson book. Oh, again, like, yeah, yeah, go off of that one. Go off of book? that one. Dude, have you read uh, my, my Michael Jackson book, Michael Jackson book, Michael Jackson book. You're like Kevin Meany with you know, the We Are the, the World stuff fucking guy bit. Covering Jackson the last two years. Everyone oh yeah, no one, one talked about Michael Jackson <laughs> and the pedophilia and the fucking how he looked and what he was oh, yeah. doing and uh, no one talked about it. Wow, you're a fucking pioneer. You're a regular pioneer, Ian. Holy shit. Accused of child molestation. You're just jealous, dude. You're jealous. Yeah, that's what I am. You once wanted to, you envisioned yourself doing a moonwalk on stage. Yeah, Tiger Woods sex tape. Yeah, what about the Tiger Woods sex tape? Where is that? All that you're getting is a bunch of... You heard, you heard the Tiger Woods sex tape. What happened to that? Where's the audio? Come it's on. Merch. I, I never gave you a timeline. I said it's... Uh, all right, of course. You never gave me a timeline.
Thunder, I'm, what I'm saying is... Maybe, maybe things only come out after people are dead. we got to wait until, uh, until uh, uh, Tiger Woods uh, uh, dies, so then you could capitalize on it. Look, it took... Hell you fucking years. grave robber. You know, Go you know, dig you know, someone up and pull their gold teeth, teeth out, you grave robbing motherfucker. Shut Mark it. Mark. Don't call me a motherfucker, dude. You are. In that studio, dude. You I'm are. Chicks. Oh, so hot. chicks. Drool. Yeah, right, like your saxophone. Your yeah, imaginary you chicks like your saxophone and that you played met with Mario Lemieux. Shut up. Uh, uh, more lies. Holy you, you shit. That one? Google it, dude. I have never... I'll Google it. Yeah, Google that one. I'll Google lying piece of shit from Canada and watch your face come up. Dude, That's what I'll do. Every Canadian listening to this show takes offense because they know my brand. And I'll tell you one thing. Your I brand? I guys up in Canada, but they're not impressed with all this. Oh, no. When was the last time you were in Canada, dude? I don't fucking, I don't even remember. Why would I care? And that's why you're so fucking frustrated because you can't get laid. And Canada is the only country to get laid in? Canada has the hottest women, dude. Are you, are you? The first night you go out with them, you know, it's a happy ending. It's oh, is it? Yeah, what, you know, where, where do you where do you get your roofies? Where do you get your roofies? How much does that cost? That's the only fucking way you're getting laid, is if she's sitting there vomiting on the edge of a bed. Uh, I think we had a good night. We have a good night. Could you please not report me? She's always born with love. Oh, is that it? Ian, jealousy. But it doesn't always die. Ian, right. I, 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 Shit. Ian, I have to agree with you. I think what? Uh, I think you've really hit on it. What? What? <laughs> Jesus. And silence is virtue. Uh, <laughs> after Googling Ian and Mario, uh, uh, it, it just says you're both from Montreal. Wow. Wow. You are ju just uh, fucking blood Mario brothers. Mario from Villamard. He played for the Villamard Hurricanes. Oh, good. Wow. How about that? To one. Isn't that something? And I was the only guy to score a goal against this team. Oh, uh, were you? <laughs> you know, let's go skating. When I come to New York, let's go to Rockefeller. What do you call that? Yeah, that's, that's good. We'll hold hands in your fantasy. In your fucking time. fantasy, we'll hold hands <laughs> and have a, a romantic comedy moment, you fucking sap. Don't forget about the hot cocoa. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to do? Jill Nicolini in the middle of us both. Oh, oh, there you go. Here he goes. It's the only thing he could ever try to bring up. That was that was oh, oh, well over uh, uh, like a year and a half ago. You know, let, let's get Nicolini on the phone and find out. You know, is that all you can fucking talk about? Well, is that the last? The is that the last time you were ever even near a fucking woman, dude? It, was that it? Is that your fond fucking memory of of a woman? Dude. How about something new? When was the last time you were even laid? Last night. Oh, last night. Yeah, cute. I bet. What was his name? I bet. <laughs> What was yeah, exactly. Name? I bet. What was her Wait. name? Quick. What was her name? I don't. I don't kiss and tell. Uh, <laughs> I said, no, it is not a kiss and tell. It's what was her fucking name? Could have said anything. I'm Karen. Fucking tell. Gloria. What? Anything. It's you not a kiss and tell. It was. You know what? You couldn't come up with a fucking name because there was no girl. Dude, there was no waste, girl. Je never waste jealousy on a real. Your man. girl. Your girl is the fucking same hand you write that trash with. That you was know? your girl last night. You put down your fucking pen and picked up your little fucking dude, excuse for a dick a and jerked it off. Jealousy is nothing more than a fear of abandonment, dude. A fear and of abandonment? Well, a child, I have, have I have fucking, I have friends, I have so family, you know, things that you know nothing about. Uh, uh, sincerity. You're just full of shit, Egan. Hey, man, you'd love to be as full of shit as me, dude, and you, you know. That's what all I, I, wow, so good one. Oh, you, you got me. And you wouldn't be so models frustrated. You never got near that fucking shampoo model, by the way. Oh, yeah. Never fucking got near really? her. I, I got to bring her on the line next. Oh week. yeah, bring her on the line. So yeah. Next week. Like when that, when that, does the when does the restraining right? order expire so yeah. you could fucking uh, Ian, stalk her? You would have liked to go out with that Pantene woman. I, yeah, well, Ian, uh, enough, uh, yeah, enough with the I next time. You jacked off after I told you you were fantasizing. Here he goes again. Boy, do you love me? Are you in love with me? Yeah, Are you yeah. in fucking love with me? Yeah, I love you, dude. That's all you do is talk about hot. me and my sexual fucking exploits. You're not hot. You're not my type, but I'm definitely in love with you, dude. We're gonna we're gonna get to know each other really well. Ugh, Ian, you disgust me in every way. Oh man, the jealousy <laughs> would be far less torturous, babe. Is is if that? You wouldn't it? have this 
you know, undying passion for me. Yeah. He's saying that you love him, man. You know, that's oh, oh, is that it? Yeah, that's what he's saying. You know that's how many times I think about him. Ian? He's after his highness, man. Here's, here's, oh, here's yeah, his highness. I forgot. Here's the it's only Ian, times I'm highness. even thinking about Ian Halperin. Okay. Sometimes when he's on the fucking phone on this show. Because a lot of times I'm just Twittering and, and texting uh, uh, girls <laughs> and, and my friends <laughs> and my family. You know, things you know nothing of. Man. Hey. Good for wow, you. Dude. Wow, you're you're wow. You're so laid. quick. You're, you're so quick witted. <laughs> Holy you're shit. You're getting laid, man. You're taking it out on me. And then yeah, I'm taking it out. Yeah. You're taking it out on me. And why are you taking it out on him? Why you are you know? taking it out on the highness? I don't know. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Google me and Jill, Jill Nicolini. Uh, yeah? Google it. Let's yeah, see I'm if sure there's sure sure There's probably going to be a picture of me and Jill. Because anytime <laughs> you Google me or, or Jill, that's what comes up. Did she lick your crack? Go to, go to, <laughs> did she? Go to uh, images. And he asked you a question. What? I don't kiss and tell. I don't kiss and tell. There's not one picture of of you and Jill Nicolini. When you put yeah, both names, not that's one because fucking. Because I don't kiss and tell, but get Nicolini on. No, the there's phone not one right picture now. on Google Images. Now put in Anthony Cumia. Yeah, because dude, yeah, I don't yeah, even know what? if he banged her. Because he what? Bang my leftovers, but you know he'll promote it to the world. I yeah, see, first picture that comes up. First Canada. picture that comes up. Because I could back. I could back uh, uh, my my statements up. Let's Not like you. I don't phone. know what a docking Let's picture is doing says. up there. Let's see. I want to. I want to know from Nicolini who's who's more well hung, His Highness or Anthony. See, because again, you want to fantasize about my cock now. You are a disgusting, Dude, cock, fucking, uh, uh, closeted mo. You're a mo. Oh yeah. Yeah. You, you really think so, right? Yeah, I really do. With yeah. your flamboyant fucking yeah. notice me glasses. Get the fuck out You're of here, jealous, you attention dude. whore. Dude, You're, You're an attention whore. Because right now, you know that I got the sexiest voice in radio right now. <laughs> you know I'm a threat. And that's why a I'm threat? not going to drive me crazy when a you know, threat you know to I, I, what? I'm walking distance over there. A threat to what? <laughs> Holy shit. You know, you're taking my leftovers, dude. Leftover, there's nothing you that know. proves anything. I'd watch myself. You probably, not, you probably, get, you know something? You are probably fucking gunning for a lawsuit. Me. You're gunning for a lawsuit for bullshitting about that from, uh, uh, from Jill. Because, oh, yeah. uh, there's no, uh, uh, no proof whatsoever to what you're saying. Oh, yeah, well, I have witnesses because it was a threesome with Jill. So uh, yeah, oh, Did really? You ever do a threesome with Jill? Who was the guy? <laughs> No, it was actually a, a nice What was day. it? Your nuts laying on your it face while he did the real day. work? While he Dude, did the real job? Guys, what did you three. fucking... F did you suck? Three. Did you booyah his balls? Did you booyah his balls in your know. mouth? Is that what you did? You booyah his balls while he did all the work? Jeez. Thinking Yo, you please. were thinking it was a threesome? It was a twosome <laughs> with a, a obnoxious <laughs> interruption. Yeah. Did he Yo, come on your glasses? You think you uh, come on my glasses. Come on my glasses. Uh, Bukaki, uh, Giggly. <laughs> you know, even your listeners. You oh, have God. Your listeners, Shut up. I'm looking at beautiful tits. I'm looking at beautiful highness, tits right now from a girl that's showing me her beautiful breasts on, on Pal Talk. Enough out of you. My God. Hey, man, he's called the Highness. What are you called, Anthony? <laughs> the Highness. That's yeah, his name. Ian yeah. Halpern and his Highness. Oh, shut up, His Highness. Have you seen my movie, His Highness Hollywood? Maybe you should see it, dude. All oh, really? All beautiful chicks foaming over me, just salivating oh, is that it? over me. Did you, did you edit out the part where you fucking dole out the dollars to him afterwards? Yeah, uh, of course. <laughs> it's the only yeah. way you're getting fucking chicks. Yeah, I, don't, I don't pay to play. Dude. How much money do you spend you on fucking prostitutes? Man. How much money That's do you spend to get laid? You up to Canada so sitting you can there. Finally get laid without paying that lonely you. fucking ass just sitting there going, uh, uh, yeah, send one over. Yeah, yeah, let me see. Make sure she's hot. Uh... Dude, that's what you probably do every night. That's oh, wow, another good one. Is going, another yeah, good you're one. you're making millions wow. doing this show probably, but you're probably broke because you've supported, you know, the uh, Ashley Dupre's of the world. Uh, Ian's movie, His Highness, by the way, <laughs> Amazon.com sales rank, 128. 
1,598. It's ranked 128,598 in movie and TV. You ass cunt. I don't even think there's been that many movies made. Go to your trailer. I don't know where you live. You fuck. Is there a what, what, what films have you done recently, brother? Oh, that's going to hurt it. I'm not in that's the film industry, asshole. I know my limitations. You don't seem to. You don't seem to. That's why you're fucking in radio, and that's why His Highness is on the fucking big screen. Oh, yeah, because I'm sure, you know, you're just gorgeous. I'm sure girls just look at you and fucking go, Let's, oh, my God, what a guy. Could we at least Anthony look? Anthony is lovely. You're the guy that said... Like you, Cleopatra, you're the guy that man. said uh, fucking uh, Brad Pitt isn't attractive. Uh, dude, because maybe you st you're the only motherfucker still fantasizing about Pitt. No, I'm not fantasizing about him, but I, I'm a realist in the fact ago. that girls do seem to like the guy uh, and Ooh, not and I'm not you. Holy. Huh? Angie Jolie seems to be the only Angie Jolie. Right could, you fucking could you like not fucking use could you not use names like you know like these people? Angie book, Jolie. Please. Angie Jolie, could you not make it sound like you know these fucking people? How do you know I don't know Angie? Well, you, Jolie. We, you were probably one of the uh, one of these that used to say Chuck Heston. Yeah, Chuck Angie Heston, Jolie, yeah. shut up! Oh, come on, Chuck Heston. Dude. You're, You're a sack. About him? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. You know, Moses is. You know, the, you should read the Ten Commandments, brother. Should I? Absolutely. Should I? Mean, I? I think, and I'm speaking on, on behalf of everybody, everyone part of the tribe listening to this show. The tribe. That Anthony should convert. Oh, really? Yeah. As you go over to Judaism? You are going if to you're a representative of Jews, if you're a representative of Jews, right I don't even want to say oh, what is in, on my mind. If you are a representative of Jewish people, don't make me even say it. Dude, because I think man. everyone knows what I would say. Everyone knows what I would say. Ten more years of bad luck. I'm cold. Eighty-eight. You know what a cold is? <laughs> <laughs> the Jews. I'm Fourteen the words. And right now, you should bow down your motherfucking ass to the King of the Jews, His Highness Halpern. You're King and of you're the Jews. You're insulting me. But when Jesus. you insult me, you're insulting every motherfucking what? Jew out there. Oh. And, you know, Fuck. And then I'm going to have to phone my good friend, shut it. Small, the head of the anti semitism Oh, shut up. Where's Pontius Pilate when we need him? And I don't want to put <laughs> Crucify you, you too. Shut up. You. But you're spewing anti Semitic sentiment. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Do you hate all the Jews? No, I said if you're a representative of Jews, then Cohen. then uh, don't Cohen? don't make me say it, Do is what I'm saying. Do you know what fucking Cohen is? What? Do you know what a Cohen is? Uh, Google what? a Cohen, dude. En enlighten me. Enlighten yeah, me with I'm your... I'm a king. When I go to synagogue, people actually, when they find out I'm a cone, they bow down to me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what does that mean? There's Shut very up. few of us left. We're the kings. There's different uh, yeah. Yeah. people in the Jewish um, religion. There's Cohen. Yeah. There's Le Levi's. Levi's. That's I'm a I got Levi's Cohen dude. Yeah, You're a, what is <laughs> what is uh, uh what does douche mean in uh, Hebrew? What you is know. douche? Yeah, douche. Because that's that's yeah, all I'm getting at out of, out of respect, you. Man. And one thing I'll tell you, you know, you, you know, know, jealousy will just, you know, everyone's jealous. Yeah, there is a little jealousy coming from you. Is it, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, Opie, little. is that what you're saying? A little bit, yeah. Jealousy? You're talking to the king of Jews. I mean, right. how you Yeah, I know, a Cohen, right. Please. Yeah, right. A Cohen. Okay, Cohen. I like the Cohen brothers. Is that the same thing? Hey, the Cohen brothers are good, man. You know, I respect that what's, the, what's the synopsis oh, on his that. movie that's uh, 128,598 on Amazon? Have, have there been that many mo movies made in no, the history no, of filmmaking? No, I'm sure not. Uh, not. No? He's off the fucking chart. You're out of bounds. Hey, dude, your, fucking, your fucking book is out of bounds, or your movie is out of bounds as far as uh, even being rated. What movie's hey, just above him that uh, is website, selling better? His Highness Hollywood Doctor. Wait, we're, we're going to read the synopsis of your movie. Shut up for a second. See the reviews of my film. His Could you read that, oh, Sam? Yeah. I wonder who reviewed it. Sam's going to read the synopsis of your big movie. A new film from Super Dupa Productions. <laughs> Super Dupa? Yeah. That's just like Warner Brothers. Yeah, exactly. His Highness Hollywood is a rollicking, irreverent, and controversial look behind the scenes of Hollywood. Posing undercover as a gay actor who what, was... What posing were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Did that come easy to you, Ian? Yeah. What a stretch. Wow. 
gay. A, a gay actor who is a member of the so-called Israeli royal family, filmmaker Ian Halperin. Who is in, that? I know we have Ian Halperin, but who's filmmaker Ian Halperin? Question. Ian Halperin infiltrates the world of headshots, auditions, fame, and ruin. But in true Hollywood form, something unexpected happens. Oh, really? He actually makes a point? <laughs> he infiltrates the Church of Scientology, oh. who promise him a cure for his alleged homosexuality. Alleged. I'm glad they put in alleged. <laughs> and in the process of exposing the secrets of the world's most con most coveted trade, he meets up with numerous A-listers, including uh -huh. Brad Pitt, yeah. Jay Leno, Leonardo DiCaprio, Bill Paxton, Ron Jeremy, and Sigourney Weaver, mm. who are most eager to give him the inside track on what life is really like in Tinseltown. Oh, wow. Again, it's w ranked 128,598. And, and when that time. said, somebody's uh, looking at the rest of the list. Howard the Duck outranked Ian's movie by about 100,000. Yeah. So when you That's were undercover, how many cocks did you actually take uh, exactly. undercover? Look, I'll tell you one. Hey, no, it's not gay if it's undercover. <laughs> it's not gay. <laughs> Google, no. it. Google it. Google it. Google sh shoot shoot my ass. Shoot Hollywood. my ass. Go ahead. It's not gay. I'm undercover. What? There's two cocks that have left an imprint in Hollywood over the years. Errol Flynn. And his highness. And and we're talking to his Yeah, highness. what did you yeah. dock so this, with him? This is a very dude, I'm getting a star on the walk of fame next. Yeah, this is a very special day. Oh, my thing. God. This and is a you're special day. you be there, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'll know, be there. Oh, yeah, you'll be there, dude. A star, you know, are you a star on the walk of, the walk of fame? You, the, the day you get a star on the walk of fame, uh... I, I can't even think of, of something so horrible to even bring up that I would do or say or or anything. Uh, you uh, you are never. Why would you ever uh, get one? What have you contributed star, that you that? It's that, actually in the film. If you watch the film, you'll see me in the in the Hollywood uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce, and they're doing my application. Annoying the them. Film. And let, let me tell you. Oh, an application. That's good. Will tell us right now. Meanwhile, you need a shitload of people. The Walk of Fame first. You need a shitload. You need a shitload of people to actually vote you. Uh, in to get a star. They have to back you. 25,000 cash. And let me tell you, I will get my... Oh, 25,000 cash? You better sell a few more of those piece of shit ranked <laughs> 129,000 uh, movies. You're going to pay for it because you're you're the biggest skeptic. But when they say all I need is the cash, I'm going to come to you for the loan. Oh, is that it? Yeah, good yeah, luck with that. You know, because you got to put your money somewhere what, else you... besides, you know, demented... Uh, uh, misinformed hookers. I'll tell you what, Ian. Uh, uh, that's a good idea. I'll lend you the money. Um, come to my house at night. I'll leave the door open, uh, and you just walk in. The lights might be off, but uh, don't worry. You'll uh, you'll see a flash, uh, and then you won't see anything. <laughs> just walk right in. Uh, I'll be there, dude. Okay, no I'll problem. Be there with Jill Nicolina. Oh, here he goes. Again. <laughs> he, goes to, he just he's can't obsessed believe it with Jill. He is so. I think obsessed. there's a jealousy there. I don't think she's he ever so got fucking. Jill. You know what happened? Yeah. Yeah. She's so fucking just like didn't even acknowledge he existed. <laughs> right. He finds out I was with her for like the entire summer, and you are completely jealous of that fact. Why don't you let him smell your balls? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Well, let's get Nicolini on the phone, dude. You want to smell uh, Anthony's let's balls? Get Nicolini on the phone. Get her on the phone. Her 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 on the phone. Loves me. I don't know if her mother loves you, dude. Get her on the phone. I don't give a shit if her mother loved me. Dude, you're a skank. Care. She brought you home. Her mother fucking flipped out. You almost put her into cardiac arrest. She almost had Oh, to really? You know yeah. Thing? Yeah, you were there. Is this another exclusive piece of bullshit that you're going to write down somewhere? Dude. You know Stop. You know it's true. It, oh, really? Admit it. Admit it. She Ad, thought you were Admit a it. Admit it. Come on. A skank? Stop, up, Anthony. She wasn't too thrilled when you walked through the door. Guys are dirtbags. Girls are skanks. What are you fucking talking You're about? You're a skank. No, I'm a dirtbag. You're a skank. <laughs> You're a skank. Now I'm throwing his insults back at him. Nya, 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 nya. You know, get your callers on the line. Who would they rather sleep with, His Highness or Anthony? Oh Christ! All right. our callers are, the they're all men. All our callers all, are men. Yeah, man. So I show. think I guess you win. All right, all right, we'll put some guys on. Mark in Canada. I Mark from Chick. Mark Not guys. Guys will want to sleep with Anthony. Oh, is that it? Mark. Yeah. I, I would like this idiot to shut up because every time he talks, their fucking dollar is dropping. He's a fucking retard. This is a Canadian, I by the way. I'm from Canada. I've never even heard of this piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck it, and, Ian. And if, he, 
Yeah, Ian, if he is a representative of the Jews, please put him in the burner. Yeah, uh, Ian, if you're, yeah, there you go. There if, you go, if you're a big dude. Canadian, why weren't you at the opening ceremonies for the Olympics? Maybe, you know. I'm not going to sing that anthem. You want to hear me sing the anthem? I, that woman who sang it, Nikki Yanofsky, it was a big disaster. Yeah. And I'll tell you one thing. There was a guy who used to sing the anthem. Uh, his name was the late, great Roger Doucette. Him and Kate Smith were the only two people who ever got the anthems properly at sporting events. The gayness that is coming out of your fucking well, maw right hear, now. Let's hear his version, Kate though, Anthony. Smith. Let's hear your version, Ian. Yeah, yeah, go it's ahead. so early in the morning. I'll give it to you here. I'll give you a few bars, okay? All uh, right, uh, here we yeah, go. I'm like borrowing. Oh, Canada, <laughs> How's that? Keep going. <laughs> Oh, wow. what about the high part? Yeah, yeah, you didn't get to the high part. Well, you can tell by the way I do my walk. How's that? He's fucking you're, you're out of your mind. Nice singing Bee Gees. Fucking five in the morning here. You're out of your it, fucking dude. mind. Finish uh, finish the anthem, man. Let's go. Oh, dude, it's too early for me. But you, yeah, you yeah. Got uh, yeah, it definitely is. That's what the listeners are saying. Let's say oh, hi to early yeah, for you. I come into your studio with Jill Nicolini sitting on your face. Let's say hi to uh, Nick in what? Canada. Nick... Hey, I've been a promoter for about 15 years in London, Ontario, which is only about six hours from Montreal, and I have never heard of this guy. There's another one that's never heard of you. Hey, dude, I'm not, uh, this ain't a popularity contest. Oh, oh really? Who they'd rather sleep with. You're the king. His What's the matter? I thought you were the fucking the king. I'm not running for real life. I thought you were the Cohen. What happened? No one knows you. Dude, no one knows you. Know. No one knows your work. Yeah, we got no one All right, cares. Listen, listen, we got Ian Halpern on the other line. Ian Halpern. I Ian. Yeah. We didn't know how to do the bit. Jesus Christ, yeah. Kent. Stop guys. listening to your fucking radio. No, what an ass. Uh, let's go to Chris in Ontario. Chris, you're on with Ian Halperin. His hi his, his Royal Highness or his or his Heine. Uh, what do you call yourself? His Heine ass. Chris, go ahead. Shut up, Ian. I just want to let you guys know this guy does not fucking represent us. Please yeah. don't think that he's See? anything like the rest Canadians of us. Canadians hate you. Yeah, they hate you. They hate hey, you. Look, Americans hate, hate you, you more. Look, you know, all the greats are hated at the beginning, and then they all come around. Look they, at Howard Stern. Everyone hated him at the beginning. Oh, uh, yeah. He's making, yeah. what, $110 million a year? Let's say, let's yeah. say how to bird, man. I, I don't mind. Ag again with this jerk-off. Again. <laughs> I know. I gotta call, every time I got to call this jerk-off, has got to be on the phone. Uh, you're talking to Birdman, Ian. Hey, Birdman. Ian. Birdman, 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 listen up, Birdman, listen up, who would you rather sleep with, me or Anthony, tell me right now. Why are you propositioning <laughs> men <laughs> to sleep with, take me out of this. We might have to erase the alleged out of your synopsis really for your movie. <laughs> I'm cutting to the chase, and you guys are going to listen to me. I got an Amazon Thank ratings you, update. I got an Amazon <laughs> ratings update. All right. As we know, His Hollywood Highness, yeah. uh, Ian Halpern's movie, is ranked 128,598 on good, Amazon. Right? Yeah. You know it's rated at 87,700, which what? is uh, just like like twice as good as 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 your your piece of shit. Anus McGillicuddy. <laughs> There's a movie called Anus McGillicuddy, which is ranked 87,000th. You're at 129,000. Well, at least I'm ranked. I'm just moving on uh, up. Move, moving on up. He's got you there, Ed. He well, is ranked. he's ranked. We don't have a movie that's ranked. You, you're certainly, uh, yeah. You're right. Boy, Anus McGillicuddy. <laughs> yeah, at correct. least Opie's Who, someone's got to pick that name up, by the way. Yeah, new name. Because, you know, one thing, I'll, I'll say there's no doubt... You know, I'm a much better looking guy than uh, Anthony, but Opie, I always... All right, think, not that... See, again, it's this, this fucking yeah. homoerotic yeah, fucking talk. It's always about, like, uh, uh, your sexual prowess and dude, what guy is hot. All your fucking listeners seem to be men. Where's the women? I haven't heard one woman call since I've been on this show. You guys... Exactly. Guys. Exactly. Do you understand that? Since you've called, not one woman calls. You made your own fucking point, Anus McGillicuddy. <laughs> Before I was on, there was no chicks beating down your door to get on the show. Where are the women? Well, they're out there. They you know, disappear. You're on. woman repellent, you fuck. They're, you know they're out there. Attract, I'm going to just build your audience with chicks. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what's going gonna to happen. Oh, okay, wait a minute. This guy yeah, has got some... Uh, he's going to explain yeah, Cohen. Seth in Virginia. 
<laughs> Seth, <laughs> Seth, turn off your fucking radio See, thingy and talk. We, we got a lot of new listeners, and they just don't understand how this fucking thing works. Oh, Seth. Sorry about that. Seth, I go ahead. My office. Let her rip. Uh, I just wanted to let him know that it, Cohen is the last name. Cohen is what you claim to be. Uh, number two, Cohen's were the high priest. Not the king of the Jews. There Ian, is no king of the Jews. There's no coins. I would coins. rather hear intern David talk about Judaism. <laughs> Ian, Are you trying to give me a lesson about... No, Ian, people? there's no coins. It's Cohen's. Are you trying to give me a lesson about where I I'm am. from? How no I No Jew up. will ever bow to another Jew. There That's you go. So See? You are in the I travel and, and do, then you Not got only are you misrepresenting research. Canada, you're misrepresenting the Jews. He misrepresents well. everything. Yes, let's you know, say... You guys are all against the Jews. There's no doubt. Let's say hi to Matt in Queensbury. Matt, you're on with Ian Howard. Ian, I got to side with you. I think you're right that the listeners would probably rather sleep with you because, uh, judging by your face, you really know how to work the balls. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to work the balls, uh, yeah. Ian? Uh, I'll take that one. I'll yeah. take it one. Right. <laughs> you like that one? Yeah. <laughs> you got to give it to him. Yeah, well. Holy mother of Christ. All right, why don't you guys make up? No, I love Anthony. I love him, but, you know, by the time yeah. we're done here... He's going to be up in Canada getting laid for real. Is, is, that, that's is my that goal is, with Anthony. Is that my goal? Yeah, it, you know, the poem I gave him, it was from the heart. And I, I want somebody to put that on YouTube so everyone could Google that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm you, sure. That, that poem wasn't wonderful. written for Anthony. That poem was... I don't even it know was, what it was. It was a lump of shit. Could you take us Battlefield out? Battlefield Earth rated 10,000. From Justin to Kelly, 25,000. Jesus, and these were... Anus <laughs> McGillicuddy, 87.7. I just love saying that. And, then and finally, of course, his Hollywood Highness, 128,598 things are better than dude, his Hollywood Highness. Dude, you know, as long as I'm playing, as long as I'm... I'm ranked. Some of the best te tennis players are ranked three, four hundred. You know, good three, point. four hundred is different than one hundred and twenty-eight thousand. Read the reviews, dude. You yeah, know, yeah. Who are they the written by? On the film. Good, on point. Yeah. good point. Why, why yeah. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Just uh, look. All my reviews have an initial after them. I H. <laughs> <laughs> he likes horse. Why don't you sing us out with the uh, the Canadian national anthem? I'll, I'll give you the old Russian answer. The, because Why I know can't he ever do what we want? The red no. flag. I, I was in Russia before the fucking Kurt wall fell. And <laughs> oh, really? It was one of the best trips I ever had. Here you go. The oh, really? They, they, let a, they let a Jew just walk around Soviet uh, yeah, Russia? They, you know, I, I went there trying to get Sharansky over there, but uh, <laughs> I ended up having a motherfucking good time over there. I got a bit sidetracked. Thank God he finally got out. Uh, here I you go. I swear, I was with Jill Nikolinsky over there. Uh, uh. <laughs> The old Russian anthem, I'll give you a few bars of that. Soyuz Nyeroti Nyayom Nishkapoti. How's that? That's very Russian. Yeah. But just when, very it's, good. just when it's about to kick in, you, you bail on us. Well, oh. you know, it's early in the morning. Let me tell you, in honor of Anthony, I'm going to go out with a hot Russian <laughs> In your fucking... Wait, 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 we got more info coming in. Your movie has one review. Oh, yeah? It only has one review. Why don't you post another one for me, dude? Zero you know, and zero of three people found it helpful. <laughs> In one review. Written okay. by you, I'm sure, I'm certain if it's positive, no, it's written, written own, by uh, you. One thing I don't do is write, I, I never uh, write, write my own review. I know you Google yourself all day, man. I'm busy. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm busy getting laid while you're fucking on the computer Googling yourself. Yeah, of course that's you are. That's why your asshole hurts so bad. Stop it. Yeah, let's when, you, when are you coming out of the closet, dude? Just be honest. Be honest. Uh, all this homoerotic talk, because, all the fu you know, the fake, I've been with this one, that one, the fucking yeah, shampoo no, model. You know something? You know, probably, the shampoo model, you know. pushed you, that pushed it a little too far. Because that chick was too hot to even fucking give you a, a tenth glance. Oh, yeah. Maybe i got to bring her on your show when I come to the studio. Yeah, why, don't you do, why don't you do that? I will. Bring her on the show. I will. But right. you gotta be a gentleman, dude. A gentleman? I, I, you know what? You could watch me fuck her while while you, uh, you sit she, there she while you sit there wondering what it's like she, to actually please a woman. Condoms, all with the letters O and A on it. She's still not even touching you. Dude. Oh, real? Is that is that right? Yeah. But you're just a prize, aren't you, Ian? Well, you're a prize with your notice me fucking glasses. Dude, I, I'm giving you a challenge. I'm Ian Hubbard. Look at I'm me. Notice me. Notice right me. Now. You bring in your broad. I'll bring in mine. <laughs> and I'll, do, I'll, I'll video it right on YouTube and see who could go longer. And see uh, which chick comes out with a bigger smile at the end of the session. 
Great, great. Let's see good. you put your money where your mouth is. Good idea, you like you that. do, in front of glory holes. I'll also throw this right, the right. So exactly. Your ugly so what you're saying you is, screen. what you're really saying here is, you want to watch me fuck a girl. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you are a fruit. You're a fucking Canadian fruit. What what kind of fruit do they have up there in Canada? I want to call you a Canadian fruit. Uh, Canadian the, fruit, right? Canadian fruit, uh, Halperns. Yeah, the Halperns. <laughs> the Halperns. You, you're Let's fucking... Here he goes. I have every motherfucking Jew listening to this right now. Not one review yeah, on Rotten you Tomatoes. Over, you're going to be all over the internet on these uh, anti-Semitic alert sites. <laughs> oh, is that it? I, I'm already on them, dummy. <laughs> Let's say hi to Cookie. Cookie. Have you ever banged a Jewish chick, Anthony? Hi. Hi, Cookie. Hi, I'm I'm Cookie. <laughs> and, and I'm from Canada. I'm Jewish, and I'd rather sleep with Anthony. He's much cuter. Hey, uh, great, thank uh, you, Cookie. Ian. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, let's go to Kate in Cali. That would be California. Kate. Hey, boys. I just wanted to let you know that women listen to this program every morning, and he couldn't be more gay. Yeah. See? Ah. Uh, hey, hey, let me See? tell you something. You have a nice voice, and uh, I'd mm -hmm. like to meet you sometime and prove to you whether or not I'm gay. Wow, you got some rap. Wow, that was... Wow, wow. I'd like to wow. prove to you I'm not gay. <laughs> right. That's a great rap. I'm going to use that one when I'm out one night. <laughs> hey, baby, I'm going to prove to you I'm not gay. Yeah, the whole world thinks I'm Boy, gay, so work. I'm going to prove to you wow. that I'm not gay. How many drinks Jesus, have been Ian. thrown in your face? Well, let me go to... And an loads thrown on your back. Let me go to uh, another Kate. Kate in Massachusetts. Kate? Hi, guys. How Hi. are you? Hi, Hi Kate. Kate. We Good love voice. Kate. She has a beautiful voice. Mm, hey, Kate, you. how you doing? Look, look, let me ask you a question, Kate. Here it goes. Yes. Who has a sexier voice, me or Anthony? Anthony. Really? You really think Thank so? Thank you, Kate. Would you bang uh, Anthony? Um, if I had to choose between you and him, uh, hell yeah, him. Would you let him Thank come you. on your face? See, look at these fans. Kate, you don't have to play party to his fucking whimsy. Uh, with, okay, with... I know, look, I know one-on-one. -on -one if, if, And I think we should bring Kate to the studio. If she sees us both in the studio, I'm betting everything I have, including my saxophone, that she'd go for me. Let me tell you something. See, see, this, is, this is a fucking mistake, dude. It has nothing to really do about how you look. I was just going to say that yeah. to Ian. Like, Ian, do you understand a woman's, like, mindset? Okay, uh, because okay, because let, let me tell you something. How's about agreeing to this? It, Anthony mm. takes you out on a date, and yeah. then his highness takes you out on a date, and then, and then, see then what you come yeah, back and report who you'd rather date. All right, uh, more importantly, we got Larry King on the line. Larry! Good morning, boys. Hi, Larry, Larry King. Good morning, Ian. Question: How well, Larry, you first of all, Larry, covering first of all, up your homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> Go, <laughs> Larry. What a mess. How much Viagra have you taken this morning? Yeah, oh, that was worth interrupting. It's always Larry like about back. Viagra and hard-ons yeah. and me, this. Let me go to Ahmad Ali. Now, Ahmad, Ahmad, Ahmad Ali um, is working the the uh, Winter Olympics in Vancouver. Oh, okay. Salam, Ahmad. Salam, Ahmad. Ahmad. How's it going? Hey, Ahmad. Salam. Hey, uh, Ian, why don't you talk about your perjury charges back when you were a student reporter in Montreal? Oh, shit. Wow, look at what he that. dug up on Ian. <laughs> Oopsie. No, let, let me tell you something about that. A lot of people have brought that up. I won the Rolling Stone College Award for Investigative Journalism over that. Some guy tried to charge me for perjury, and let me clarify that. Last time I heard it, never even before went in front of a judge. I won every motherfucking award. The guy was fired because of my articles. So let's talk more about it, dude. What the more fuck have you got to say? I could charge you for anything, brother. Ooh. The fact is, you got to prove it in the court of law. It never well, even defensive. went in front of a fucking judge. He's so defensive. Ahmad? Yeah, I'm, 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 let's talk about it. Yeah, Ahmad? I, I don't, I don't know the details. I mean, I, 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 he is much, much, much older than me, so uh, that goes beyond. <laughs> that goes beyond. Let's talk about it, Ahmad. <laughs> But uh, what about when was your the last time about you won an award for something you were charged for and you were acquitted of? It never even went that. before a judge. You should never have to say I was acquitted of that. <laughs> right. like, even yeah. even that isn't good, uh, Ian. By the <laughs> way, if you said never convicted, I was never <laughs> right. convicted. Like that, Dude, that's never the good. I was fired. He tried everything on me. And I won. Yeah, he won. Ian won. All Go right. Google it. Google it. Right. Just Google, Google it. it. Google, Google it. it. Google, Google it. Google it. Somewhat, Ahmad. Thirty years what about, ago. What about the uh, the Montreal Expos who uh, were uh, had an issue with you back in '94? No, I had an issue with them. I actually <laughs> sued the Expos for a hundred thousand dollars. For what? Um, what? For saying something false about me in the press, and it was that you were straight. 
<laughs> no, no Ian, Ian, Ian alleged that there was uh, racism in the clubhouse. There was yeah, what? There was no, I didn't allege that. Several players did. And then I Wait, remember I the story. It was a big deal in Canada. What was but, it? You know, you, you, you just come up with some nuggets and you don't finish the sentence properly. Well, explain yourself. I mean, the Expos came out and said that you were that you were basically lying, right? In the freelance piece you wrote for the... No, they said the player was lying, and they said that I had a history of accusing uh, athletes of racism, and I never did. That was the first article I did about racism in sports, and I, I sued them. They didn't sue me. I sued them. No, they they no they they actually came out in public though, in reaction to your article, and said that it was just a racial goad that it was uh, um, basically a red herring. No, that's not true. They said somebody else, a third party, goaded the player, not me, into saying those remarks. His name was Bob White. You could phone Bob White, and I was just doing my job reporting. But when they came out with that, um, you know. I, I, I went after them. They never came after me, the Expos. Never. No, but you, you've been writing about racism. Yeah, look, when you're, when you're in the kitchen and the fire, you know, everyone denies it after. That's why I tape everything, I video everything, and I make them look like fools at the end of the day. You know, no, but, but nobody's Ian, ever questioned how I do my craft. Ian my has craft. Writing, Ian has been writing exclusively about accusing white people of being racist against blacks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean... Since you were in college, right? That's his Canadian white guilt that he has. That uh, for some reason I don't know why. I, you know. Well, you're, you're saying there's no racism, sir, in uh, baseball. Why would I say? Why would I say there's, there's no racism? racism? Of course there is. You don't think people should cover racism? There's racism, racism in every aspect of life, sir. Yes. So what? What? What are you breaking open? You what that, are you? What are you breaking open? What? What why great revelation? What great fucking it's revelation are you exposing? That there's racism in this country or in Canada? What? What? Wow! Wow! You're amazing. Where's your? When's your next book? The sky is blue. Oh, you're gonna love my next book, dude. It's coming out soon. Oh, what's it called? I'm not gonna tell you. Oh well. Okay. Well, why? Why? When you want to promote it, so it's not a hundred and yeah. fucking twenty-eight thousand. Let's see where that's Amazon. ranked. Hey, hey let's there's... say hi to John Coltrane. Oh. Hey, John Coltrane, train. Mm. What's up, Ian? I would like you to sing one of my favorite songs right now. My favorite things? Yes. Can you hum the melody? Where is your saxophone? Yeah, here. Um, I love my favorite things. Actually, Train. You know, he took Charlie Parker to the next level. You know, get on with the song, fucker. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, I'm not going to say Where's your any, saxophone, any dude. You said you'd be in the studio for the last three <laughs> fucking weeks. Where's your goddamn saxophone? We want to hear it. You want to hear me with my favorite things? Sing the fucking. I'm the fucking melody. Dude, I will gladly come in. Here you go. Here you go. You'll gladly. Hum you know, the fucking melody. Already. Imitation is the biggest form of flattery. But let me tell you something. Let me let me get the train on here. All right. Let me get train. But the real deal. Where's your saxophone? Is, <laughs> is it in California or in New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the great train. Yeah, but you're not doing the song. Well, you know, one thing I won't do, I won't, I won't try to step into John Coltrane's shoes. Yeah, this guy's playing his talk, man. It sounds like. That's Zam Fear, master of the pan flute, you fuck. Yeah, what do you got? That's what we got. Yeah. And it's got that. What do you got? I play the real deal. You, I, you I haven't played yeah. shit. I, I don't try to step in. The mouth the organ? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what you play, <laughs> you I'm fruit. I'm not going to try to imitate John Trey. Why don't you John play Coltrane. something, then? And just, Dude, I sang for you twice. I just man. blew you away on the fucking slide flute. Yeah, what do you got? You what, do you got? what do you got? What do you got? Jack What do you got? What do you got? What do they got? Yeah. Chlamydia. And and just play something, you play something. I don't care if you pick up a goddamn spoon, you better play something. Dude, dude, I'm going to come in your studio. I'm oh, going to yeah, play. I'll bring Nicolini in. You're going to see who should That's it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> again. Oh, my <laughs> God. You one-trick pony fucker. <laughs> you really are but a one-trick pony. Man. Well, who, do, who doesn't? Anthony and I are going to get to know each other Who doesn't? Well. It better be soon before your fucking hiv kicks in, yeah, you fool. And Anthony's going to be at the premiere of my next movie, introducing it. Oh, I really Oh, yeah, you're going to be invited, dude. Where's that going to be? 
Uh, do you have to pull down? Right now, do you have to pull down the screen yourself in your basement <laughs> and, you're gonna be and turn on a projector? Is that where your movie premiere is? It's uh, on. It's on eight millimeter. <laughs> Here's me as a child in the pool. Uh, I want to sit and watch your slideshows. Let, let, let's get more women on the phone. I'm, I'm tired of hearing. Anything. You're a repellent for women. A repellent. Foghorn voice. Let, let's get some chicks. How about, we want to hear the saxophone. Enough already. Let's yeah, hear I something. Have it here. I'm, I'm on assignment right now. Assignment. I, I with my <laughs> Would you stop movie. trying to sound important? I'm not trying to sound important. But you are a I, I nobody. All right. All right. You want a woman. Let's go to Mindy in Arizona where it's not snowing. Oh. I am. Yeah, we had a huge snowstorm this year. I am so glad that Anthony is finally ripping this guy apart. He's oh. such an ass and has been ever since he's been on. Half the time I turn him off because I just can't deal with it. Haven't you had, had it with him? I am second. so You're done with him. Night. You're hearing my voice, not your partner's. You, you know, you're putting my face to your partner. I know that. Okay, no, I mean, one, your voice is Have horrible. you ever fantasized about his highness? <laughs> no, your voice is so let, let me ask you a question. Attitude sucks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you do for a living? It's none of your business. But oh, I, I want to know. Question. Well, you're on the radio, dude. Let I'm, me hear I'm, what you I'm do a, in life. I'm a senior financial analyst. Oh, yeah? For which firm? I'm not going to tell you that. Well, why not? There's no client confidentiality here. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to tell what's you your where I work. This is his rap, by the way. This yeah. is his fucking rap. Well, apparently the only woman he's ever fantasized about is Jill Michelini, because that's all he talks about. That's all he talks you, about. You have fantasized about her, too, haven't you? What? Uh, what? No. Do you like Jill? Uh, Do you like I don't women? Know who she I'm is. rubber, you're glue. Let me ask you a question. If there's one celeb you could sleep with, who would it be? Male or female? Uh, male. And who would it be? Um, it would be probably Brian Dennehy. Yeah, I like that. Jesus, yeah, Brian Dennehy. <laughs> I like big barrel Even we can say Jesus. Wow. What the fuck? I like fuck? big barrel tested guys. Brian and if there's one chick you could sleep with, Steve's come gay. On. Brian Dennehy I just went, what? Why would you yeah, sleep with a woman? A You've never had wrong. a lesbian experience? <laughs> Joke, Steve. No. Joke, Jesus. No. You've never fantasized about a woman? Wall. No. Hmm. When was the last time you got laid? Would you? Why? Why, why are you Again, going into this line of, of questioning? I called to say what I asked you. It has nothing. Yeah, to do. yeah. It's, it's just, important. It's important. Like this is how you the, operate. The this is subject. this is your fucking the way you operate with chicks and girls and I women. Why doesn't get laid? Yeah, exactly. I could not imagine yeah. a girl really feeling this is nice. Oh, yeah. Like this Dude. is a nice conversation that you're yeah. having. It's horrific. Isn't it just terrible? There goes Mindy. Thank Dude, you, Mindy. I have the sexiest voice in radio. Everyone knows that. Uh, all right. you, you know yeah. something? If you even did have the sexiest voice, the the words that that voice is is making are, are turning girls off well, so we, quickly. Why don't we go to Dee Dee? Dee Dee, terrible. You don't have a good rap. You're you're horrible yeah. with these. Let's girls. Let's say hi to Dee Dee though. She's a woman. Dee Dee. Yeah, you want fuck? You want fuck? Anthony. Yes, sir. Anthony, I would sleep with you any time. This guy Hello. is so gay. <laughs> why is this Canadian boy on the radio? Exactly yeah, my sentiment. Why? Where are you from, honey? I'm from New York. Oh, yeah? Let me ask you. you and do, I'm, I'm commuting you really to sleep work. with this guy, Anthony, tonight? Oh, and you would are you, a boy. Would you shag this guy tonight? Shag. Like, really? Anthony, I would. Mod. Oh, yeah, why? What's so, what's so attractive about him? I would Anthony. Him? I listen to Anthony every morning. I love him. Love yeah, him. Why are you so attracted so, to him? Why would you get between the sheets with him? I love him. The his sheets. personality turns me on. Oh, yeah? Does his voice turn yeah, you on? Yeah, his voice turns me on. What you, about his face, his body? And you're gay. <laughs> yeah, you think I'm gay? <laughs> you're gay, I have no doubt. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Oh, here it is. I think you're pleasuring yourself to Anthony's voice. <laughs> oh, you think so? You're well, jacking you it. Yeah. Jack it to me, Wait, you let, fruit. Let no, me in the right now. I really am, but I'm not pleasuring myself to Anthony. I'll tell you one thing. Mm. All right. But I am in my birthday suit right now. <laughs> <laughs> birthday yes. suit. I, I told you, Anthony, he is. He's I know. He's, ugh. <laughs> He's in his birthday suit. Yeah, well, when was the last time you got laid? When was the last time someone came on your face? <laughs> is that your opener? Really? Is that what you open up with when you walk well, up you to know, a girl and you must have I a helmet? Someone came on your face. Not on my face, on my chest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's got big ones, Ian. Yeah, yeah. you have, you have <laughs> big ones? Yeah, she's got big ones. Are you, are you bigger than Paris Hilton? What? <laughs> I think she uh, she's gone. Name dropping gone. again. <laughs> just... 
Yeah. So he's got to name drop the Hollywood elite. I'll Give me one more chick on the phone. No, I'll, chick. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. Uh, look, who the, who the fuck are you? I'm your guest today. Where's Norton, by the way? Who are you? Norton. I forgot about that. Where's Norton? Norton is on a plane going to Cleveland to do a hilarious comedy show. Oh, this guy, uh, Jason, wants in. Jason in El Paso. Jason? El Paso. You know, the, the weight of what I had just fucking went away. While I've been on hold, the open anti fans are the best. I had to reload the Wikipedia page. Wiki it, wiki it. But it's got, uh, <laughs> it keeps changing. It's changed like three or four times while I've been on hold. It started off by referencing that Ian Hoppin is a douchebag Canadian, which just got <laughs> removed. And they also just took off his preference for, uh, I think, analingus and having balls across the face. But it, it just got edited right now, like I said, like the third or fourth oh, time. Jesus. Oh, wow. Keep changing it, man. Google it. You Google, know, Google it. At least you... You know, you, you know, the fact is, you're paying homage to me today. Wait, you're a regular correspondent for Court TV? By the way, it's not even called Court TV yeah, anymore. Well, I used to work it's for it's true. Oh, well, uh, how come it says a regular correspondent? Because I used to do a show called, uh, I think it was Hollywood Crimes or something, and uh, they used to get me to do a lot of stuff for them. Oh, did they? Really? Yeah, of course. Blow jobs. <laughs> I, I don't know. Look, I, I'm not like you, dude. I don't spend my whole day with one hand on my cock, one hand on my keyboard, uh, you know, creating publicity about myself. I, I'm, I'm living life, dude. You're frustrated. You're on your fucking computer all day. You're probably Googling me all day. Yeah, that's And you're a, probably mm -hmm. doing all these posts. But that's cool. Well, uh, Ant's going to comment in a second, but we got, the, we got the great Charlie Parker on the line. Oh, Charlie! Wow. Hey, Birdman. Charlie. Fuck you, Ian. You blew off John Coltrane. Sing a fucking melody, you piece of shit. Come on. Hey, dude, dude, let me tell you something. You That's put it. on a record, you piece of shit. You know what? Melody. You're hoetry in motion, dude, and I respect <laughs> you. God. Don't you fuck freedom you. Of speech. It's freedom of speech. Sing a melody. Hey, let me tell you, let me tell you something. He dude. said Where's sing a melody. Saxophone? That's you jacking off while you're hearing my voice. Where's your saxophone? Yeah, is your hand right now <laughs> Where? between your no. legs Where? while you're hearing the greatest high Where's your, your saxophone? My saxophone ain't with me, man. I'm, I'm on I'm on assignment here. Where's uh, I, I'm going to bring in that horn. Where to the studio with my band, the His Highness and band. Where? The His Highness band. <laughs> Get the fuck out of Ian, you don't have any Charlie Parker. I love Parker, man. You don't know. Him. You don't know the first thing about Parker. Parker was a master of the blues. He took twelve progression blues chords and did what no one else could do with them. He was so melodic, every note Google counted. It. Now's the time is one of my favorite songs ever. Yeah, sing well, it. Yeah, play yeah. now's the time. Sing it. Hum it. Do something with it. But now's the time oh, to hang up on this motherfucker. Dude, I'm on a different time zone than you, man. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not about to sing for my supper here. Well. Yeah. All right. you know, I, gave, I gave you two answers, unless, dude. Unless the supper comes Anthony's out of a cock. Anthony's going to go to bed tonight, playing yeah. the repeat, hearing me sing that Russian no. anthem, man. Well, He'll be yeah. all alone in his mm -hmm. bed. That's what it is. Having the most wildest fantasies, but that's cool. How about right, because that's, that's who I'm thinking about. We right, gotta Ian Halperin. we got to end this on some kind of up note. So could you like give us a little more of the Canadian national anthem or the Russian uh, national anthem? Oh, man. Oh. Not just one stupid line. Dude, it's so early sing us in out. the morning. Sing us yeah. out with something. Sing I'm us a out. Performer, dude. Sing us I'm out. Not like, Sing us out. All has been performers. They okay, fuck it. What's next? I at night to crowd. Okay, fuck it. What's next? Sing us out. Time is the essence, the essence of life. Time's the essence, the essence tonight. Amid visions of light, a long February night. Hipster pants, magical mystery prince that dance. Go home and get oh your fucking shine box. Oh, my reigning one way queen, straight away side parted main. <laughs> uh, wow. His Wikipedia is insane. <laughs> oh, it's just <laughs> going crazy. People are just, just fucking with it. After it just says he's a regular correspondent for Court TV. Then the rest of his bio is Ian's sexual preferen preference was questioned on the Opie and Anthony satellite radio show on February 25th, 2010, when Ian asked some male callers if they'd rather sleep with him instead of one of the hosts, Anthony. Ian is also known <laughs> for his fondness of analingus and the feeling of testicles across his nose. <laughs> he is the self-proclaimed king of the Jews. 
and has personal ties to Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> he has been known to do things, but he can't tell you about them or prove anything because he's undercover. Norton. Norton. <laughs> when trying to impress women, he often <laughs> <laughs> he often uses such gems as, <laughs> I'll prove to you I'm not gay. <laughs> I'll prove to you I'm not gay. He is blowing me as I type this. <laughs> <laughs> he also likes to talk to me. <laughs> it's crazy. He also likes to talk to men to see if they are jacking off. <laughs> he is a fucking coon. <laughs> he called it the Obi Anthony show on February 25th, 2010. <laughs> he left. <laughs> <laughs> he left. That's he great. let the host know he was calling new, nude and masturbating. <laughs> my, my fucking stomach hurts. And masturbating oh. to the sound of show host <laughs> Anthony's voice. Uh, <laughs> Sam's actually crying. That is fucking hysterical. Sam's fucking crying. <laughs> oh, the listeners rule. My fucking rule. gut hurts from laughing so hard. The fucking listeners and rule. Look at you Sam's know, face. because you know that people are going to copy and paste that, and there's going to be our <laughs> listeners for the rest of the day. Every time that gets deleted, somebody's going to be adding it again. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Kurt Love. Thanks, man. Funny. He's blowing me as I type. That is fucking funny. Oh, Oof. fuck. Oh. Fantastic. Oh, that's a good fucking laugh right there. Well, what a great uh, call from uh, Ian Halperin. Uh, some update. His Highness. Oh, His um, Highness. <laughs> Updates to his Wikipedia. Ian was once seen jacking over Rock Hudson's grin. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it also says, well, honest, uh, he also has a voice that sounds like he is trying to talk with a stuffed up nose while performing funny <laughs> And uh, another fun fact from his bio is yeah. he also allegedly <laughs> had a threesome with Traffic Girl Joe Nicolini <laughs> and another guy. And another guy. <laughs> Was that alleged? Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Allegedly. It's, but it's Wikipedia, so it's got to be true. Yeah. I would put it out of bio if he yeah, were coming in. Yeah, of course. In. Everyone goes to Wikipedia to find yeah. out stuff about people. More importantly, we found a girl that would actually fuck Brian Tenney. <laughs> I know. That's, I think, out of everything. Can we call the most shocking Can we thing. call Brian's people immediately? Yeah. He'd probably be very excited to hear that. Oh, my God. My fucking God. Uh, well, it actually fucking hurts. That guy just, I mean, I, I think we've all felt that building over the last couple of times he's called. <laughs> he made a movie called His Highness Hollywood. This movie is about a young bear named Steve C. from Yellowstone <laughs> and his erotic travels from Milan to Minsk, Minsk <laughs> in his Prius. <laughs> Along the way, he meets Iraq, a kindred spirit who, like Steve, <laughs> loves to stuff his fat face. <laughs> he also meets Ted Sheckler in Ted's crappy game. <laughs> crappy game movie emporium. <laughs> it is revealed later on that Steve became gay due to being babysat by Uncle Paul. Uncle Paul isn't really an uncle, but rather a friend of Steve's father. In the end, Steve approaches the three wise men, Greg, Tony, and James, who repeatedly smack him around until they find he likes it. He eventually dies when he slips in a puddle of A's and falls, impaling himself on a giant black sex toy. <laughs> It is a suspected autobiographical story of Ian Alfred. <laughs> I swear to God, you, you gotta, uh, I think you gotta stop. It hurts. He was once. <laughs> he was once found in a park with a saxophone. <laughs> Don't say it in his rectum. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck.
fucking Holy night, man. Shit. <laughs> it's just <laughs> all on Ian Halpern's Wikipedia. Yes. Wow. Whew. Holy shit. I, I know I need a breather. <laughs> Uh, Ian Halperin <laughs> was mostly known in Canada for <laughs> being the only man in Ontario <laughs> capable of fitting 21 cuts <laughs> into his mouth at the same time. The only one, huh? <laughs> during, They're pounding him. During his record-breaking try, Ian was also reportedly jerking off two black men at the same time. <laughs> He was later. <laughs> he was later rushed to the hospital for what was diagnosed as extreme ejaculate consumption. <laughs> his, his stomach was pumped for 17 hours, though doctors in, <laughs> though doctors admitted they only made a dent <laughs> in the reservoir. <laughs> Of semen <laughs> residing in Ian's stomach. Hold <laughs> on, his Wikipedia, huh? Holy oh, shit. Oh. On Ian Halpern's Wikipedia. Oh, I, Sam is crying. Oh, my God. You're uh, actually crying great. from reading that. Hard. That is fucking funny. Uh, I suggest you read it. It's, <sighs> well, it really they keep is deleting funny. it, but it keeps going back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, believe me, they'll, they will just keep fucking oh. with him. Ooh. Holy shit, can we break? Yeah, that was, uh... Thank God the computer just crashed, because well, otherwise we'd I know, be we here just all day. Keep reading <laughs> it. it really crashed? Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We'll reboot we, we'll, it. We'll update after the break, though. Yeah. Uh, I gotta ask Sam if uh, you got this one on Ian Halperin's uh, Wikipedia page, which is being <laughs> just destroyed right now. Uh... He has been known to use Variety magazine to funnel gerbils into his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, no, That's a good one. I, just, I heard that somewhere. Yeah. I, I just refreshed it. And it's something I didn't know, which I should have prepped you guys with, is... Fuck. Yay pudding. Sorry. <laughs> I got a, I got a tweet. Yay pudding. Oh. First one in the morning, by the way, Ant. Oh. Ian is also yeah. known for introducing interracial anal sex into pornography by taking the first black cock in the ass oh. as he screams his idol's name, Anthony. <laughs> Google it. Google it. <laughs> Google it. Uh, oh. That was um. That was quite that was a some hour. call. Some call. You know when you have your. I, I've listened to a few shows oh. uh, on the radio throughout my um, years, mm -hmm. and. Um, Usually when the entertainment reporter, correspondent, whatever, guy, comes on the show, it I've never heard it go quite that way, <laughs> no. uh, that it went with Ian. Usually they talk about some celebrities, you, you dish a little dirt, you sound intrigued, and then uh, you leave. Mm -hmm. It um, really turned into an hour of just bashing. Oh, is he the worst... That was unbelievable. Oh, actually. he's such a liar. But they're also uh, now. Uh, <laughs> I gotta. I gotta say this. I still love him. <laughs> I still. Love, I'm still in. I, I swear, I'm still in. Oh, God, I am, I'm still oh, in. Oh, I hate him. <laughs> there are two yes, new oh. two new reviews uh, oh. on Amazon for his movie. Oh, wow, good. what a coincidence! Because for how long? When was like the well, last can review? We, can we do him a favor and buy him a copy? I gotta play clips of this fucking movie on the show. We will get a I copy got of to. it. We will immediately though. Um, the Overnight last it. the last comment was left on December twenty eighth, two thousand nine. Okay, two have been left so far this morning. Wow, one from Kyle in Albany with the subject utter garbage. <laughs> one star. I watched this movie on recommendation from a friend. The man just spills out junk. I feel terrible for the honest celebrities that were given the chance to star in this movie. If it was actually a popular movie, it would probably ruin their careers, save your time and money, and avoid this like the plague. Uh, another review, uh, the subject is very disgusted, and it is by Amazon user Steve C. <laughs> who says, this movie, quote-unquote, was just a 60-minute webcam video <laughs> of Ian Halperin touching himself to, <laughs> to pictures of Opie and Anthony's show host, Anthony Cumia. Why would Amazon sell this vile garbage? 
Oh, oh God. Damn, was that good? They, nice. the, the, Go ahead, Mark. Model. That was helpful. Yes, that was helpful. <laughs> yeah. Mark them as helpful. Yes. Thank you. They are, the listeners are great. They're the best. They're just fucking brutal. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what else you got on that, Ahmad? Yeah, that's about it on Andrew Koenig. But next time you have Ian Alperin on, yeah. make sure you ask him about his time as a homeless man. A homeless man? He was homeless. He uh, he used to be a busker in Canada. That's what he, no, That's where his music talent came from. He was a famous mm. busker at the Montreal subway station. I don't know what a busker is. A uh, guy who plays music at a at a subway. No, I guess I figured that much out, but I never <laughs> heard the word before. I never either. Yeah. What's the word? Busker. Buster. Busker with a K. Busker. Busker. I've never heard of that before. That's a Canadian term, I guess. Sounds like a yeah. curling term. All right, well, you got to make sure that the, the the stone gets into the busker. Because for the yeah. people for the people out there that thought yesterday's show was the end of Ian Halpern, oh man, were you mistaken? Oh no, no, no. Now I'm I'm more in than ever before. <laughs> there got, will be I've, more. I've got a couple fucking pages. battles with that cunt. <laughs> I've got a couple pages of research on the guy I can send you. Well, oh, or, really? or are you calling yourself because you were great when you took him on yesterday? Yeah, 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 definitely.